Welcome back. So let's play King's Bounty, the Legend. Or let's try. Uh, last time we did some fights in the exterior of the graveyard. Things didn't go super well, so I had to run from battle, which actually lost my entire army, but I rebuilt very quickly. I wish I could put these vampires in the back just so I can recruit them, have something else in there, but I don't have the rooms for that. So we're in here. Waterproof bag, leather bag for keeping scrolls. There's another... There's a thing over there. Enemy troop, very strong. Skeletons and skeleton archers. Don't want to deal with that very much. They are not going to move, so I kind of have to juke around them. Grab that... Grab that bag. In the sarcophagus, you find a pa sarcophagus, paper written in a strange language. It seems to be the chronicles of Lost Town and Necromancers. At last, the chronicles of Lost Town and the Necromancers are in your hands. Uh, there's a chest here I can grab with 5,500 gold. Not a small amount. Um. I don't think stuff is going to be buried in the stone here. Oh, alright. 1150. So that does kind of wrap up our business in the graveyard. Enemy troop, heroes, troops, overpowering skeleton archers and peasants. There's buried treasure over there. No, that's just that troop. Alright, let's just kind of. Oh, light room. Grab that and run. Ah. I think I'm happy with how things are here. That's all the quests related to the graveyard, too. As far as I'm aware, maybe the frog will have something, but... For now, I want to go turn in the Chronicles. I think I'd just take this right to... Yeah, Shavarius. Uh, out of curiosity, what units do you have? Um, priests and Guardsmen. Warrior Helmet, one defense compared to minus five mana, minus, oh, plus five mana, minus one intellect. I actually, mm, okay, that does have an actual effect on my intellect, so that means every seven points of intellect increase magic damage inflicted by the hero by 10%, 15 points increases duration of spells by one turn. Influences magic attacks and power of spell. It sounds like intellect doesn't matter right now. So I'm going to be good with that. For now, go back to Green Wart, but I do want to explore the swamp a bit because the swamp creatures should be more manageable than the undead. Maybe get some leadership gains there. Cover my... Oh, you can only use it once, even the one here? That's kind of lame. Alright, magic school. Let's see. Yes, I found your chronicles. The witch was going to perform some rite with them and had taken them into the cemetery. Later, tell me everything. Give them to me. Shavarius hastily snatches the manuscripts away from your hands and looks through the first pages. Right, the Chronicles of the Lost Town. There it is. Well, Gil Bill Gilbert, good job. You've become an excellent searcher, not unlike the previous one. May he rest in peace. There's only one little thing left to do, to decipher these papers. 3,200 coins, 100 experience. It's a lot of money. Thank you. If I ever need to find something in the future, just call me. I'll be happy to wander about swamps and caves. And there is a quest. 
Um, I've heard that mages are always in need of some herbs or chicken's legs for their experiments and potions. Maybe I can help you. Like chicken legs? Herbs? What do you take us for, young man? This is a magic school, an institution for the scientific study of magic, not a witch's coven. However, we do need some assistance along similar lines. This year, we decided to introduce a new subject, a practice course on directed mutations. And for the research, we need a number of rare species of animals, each of which has evolved as a result of spontaneous mutation. Collect them for us, and I'll see that you're well, well rewarded. We need 30 dra lake dragonflies, 10 royal snakes, and 1 cyclops. Alright. I agree. Excellent. The sooner you find them, the sooner we'll be able to commence our research. I would advise you have a look at the menagerie first, and do be attentive as you approach the swamp or the lake. Maybe you'll find some eggs. Okay. So that's a new quest, which will get me a pain mirror, kamikaze, and fit of energy scroll, 63 experience. Weird amount of experience. Um, that's going to wait until I have the frickin' uh, reserve uh, perk, though. Uh, I don't think there's anywhere I could get quests at this point that I haven't been to. I guess there's the south east part of the map here in Greenwart that I haven't been to yet. So let's check that out. Wolves and werewolf elves. Oh, yeah, this is a lower level area. I just haven't been here yet. And there's a quest over there. I'm kind of all over the place, but to be fair, I don't know. The game itself is a little all over the place, too. Not in a bad way, mine. Just, how do I get in there? Cut through the town. I can definitely see how games like the Age of Fear series were inspired by this. And I can see how this series has its die-hard fans, too. Hunter's House. Good day, Traveler. Would you do me a favor? I see you're a worthy warrior. Just the man I need. You'll have to brandish your sword a little, of course, if you agree to help this dying forester. You don't look like you're dying. What's happened? Recently, I was hunting for wolves, as usual, but this time I had some very bad luck. I ran into a wolf pack, which had a werewolf leader. I ran away, but he managed to scratch me. I cleaned the wounds, but it didn't help. When night comes, I'm overcome with the urge to howl in the moonlight and roll in the grass. It will be a full moon soon, and I suppose you know what that means. The only thing that can help me is a potion made of the blood of the werewolf that bit me. I beg you, find his den and kill the beast. By killing him, you'll be saving hundreds of innocent lives, and you may help me remain human. Get his blood. Even a couple drops would be enough for the antidote. But hurry, the full moon draws nearer every day. Okay, I'll try to get back to you before the full moon comes. And you're a shop. So I can see this being, uh, hey, I'll bring you something, maybe peasants, if you agree to just give me some blood. Shit. Bat! That's not the unit I thought I was controlling at that moment. Now I can auto this, I think. I mean, half my army is autoed anyway. Twenty leadership. I guess the leadership is like a small bits adding up thing. Friendly troop of wolves. Yeah, I feel like this is an area I can easily just auto. And also, that's kind of just another thing about, like... I would say this is borderline Eurojank, because it works a lot more as intended than most Eurojank does. Um... Oh no! Auto includes magic. I don't like that. Just a f 
defend and yeah. I wonder if there are auto combat options. I mean, probably not. That's more of a it's a much more modern feature. But then again, this has uh, sped up combat animations. So you never know. I took all those hits and no losses. Let's see. Nope. Let's see. There are those friendly wolves. Oh, those are mind runes. Thanks. I am surprised, like, more RPGs that don't have buried treasure systems. Let's just defend for now. Oh, this is where fear is dangerous when you have, like, the altar of lightning and stuff. Idiot. I'm just volunteering to take that damage. That's interesting. There is a rage mechanic. Ow. That's a critical hit. Holy crap. I know there's like the massive stat difference, but also that's a lot of magic crystals I get. But yeah, like buried treasure seems like a very no-brainer thing. Oh, no, I'm just killing him directly. No deal making. Don't deal with the devil. Okay, let's magic pole axe the regular wolves. Bat form. I can't recommend the TV series. I only because I haven't seen the movie, but the TV series, what we do in the shadows, enough. Oh wow. I mean, the stack was dwindling, so I can't be too surprised, but that was a nasty amount of damage for lower level units like this. I guess this is a hero unit fight, though. Alright, I'm gonna hit you with helplessness. My bowman was blind. Ow. Hitting defense there was actually a very wise move on the AI's part. Then you're just going to blind them again for some reason. It's like, I'm going to have to restock my units. But this is... I'm only really losing them to a quest fight. 
which I'm pretty okay with. Um, can I go ahead and pull axe? Because I do recover MP by just kind of walking around anyway. Crystal, this gold, this gold, okay so the game is kind of answering my concerns because I wasn't sure if um, there was going to be a variety in just how uh, regular wolves Actually, yeah. 49. Don't have the leadership for goddamn wolves. Um, yeah, it feels different fighting the werewolves. Just don't worry, here's a werewolf's blood. Oh, give it to me then. I, was, I have to prepare the potion as soon as possible. Thank you. I was only convinced I'd have to live among wolves the rest of my life, howl in the moonlight, and fight the other wolves for the females. <laughs> I'm kidding about that, of course. I think. Okay, here, take your reward. Thank you, it wasn't so difficult. Besides, a good man is better than a good wolf anyway. And now... Oh, you sell wolves and thorn hunters. I'll take those. Alright. Yeah, because wolves have... some health... They really have night sight uh, during combat and underground com nighttime and underground combat attacks increased by fifty percent and frenzy twenty percent chance to inflict that enemy with frenzy during an attack plus the wolf cry talent uh, makes humans elves and dwarves of level one to two frightened forcing them to skip the turn with a probability of fifty percent. Yeah, that's actually pretty good. For this point of the game, anyway. That should be all of that cleared up, too. Alright. I just can't deal with the Northwest right now. Um, let's see. So... Knowing what I know now about this series, this dialogue option is very funny. Do you know? Do you also know that dragons like to kidnap princesses? Aren't you scared? Oh, Uncle, you're so old and still believe in fairy tales? First, I'm a little girl, and dragons kidnap only adult princesses. And second, if a dragon kidnaps me, then a prince on a white horse will appear and save me. That happens in all the fairy tales. I even had a dream that a prince on a magic horse saves me. Only the horse was not white, but made of wood for some reason. Besides, my dad would protect me from a dragon. My father is a real king. He has a real big army. The army will beat the dragon and will fly away hungry. Uh, oh, I can buy the equilibrium sword. Let's do that. So that's a significant boost to attack. I can set, let's see, training sword. Such swords are used for the training of young warriors in their practice exercises. Despite its blunt blade, the sword can be a force weapon in skillful hands. I can sell that now. And equilibrium sword. Info. This sword was created by the godsmith Gefar as a gift to the victor in the battle between light and darkness. However, the conflicting forces had destroyed each other completely, so there was no victor. Thus, the sword's blade remained gray, taking the side of neither darkness nor light. It said that an owner of the sword can incline it to one or another side by his deeds. The sword watches its owner attentively, heeding which powers he fights against. So it's a living weapon, and it becomes a sword of darkness or sword of light, depending on your morale. That's really cool. Uh, there's also bandage of concentration, helmet, one intellect. Nah. Um, belt, helmet. All right. I think we're good. Oh, there's magic spring. Friendly troop increases its defense and receiving damage its commander gains mana while the spell's duration increases. Distortion magic, I can't learn it. So let's restock.
Um, can't store wolves here, unfortunately. Oh, I can store some here. Good to know that I have multiple garrisons here. Let's see, 60k will get me the Banner of True Faith, which I think is the next thing I want to save up for. Monk's Belt would actually be pretty good, too. Versus one defense. Let's see. Hero's defense exceeds aggressor's attack. Damage suffer will decrease. At maximum, take only one-third damage. So one point of defense means a lot. One point of intellect means nothing. <laughs> okay, and... Oh, right. I bought all the swordsmen from here, so I need to go to the swamp to stock those up again. Alright, I'm starting to feel the progression a lot better. Crossroads Tavern mercenaries are barbarians. Nah. It's up here that I can get more guardsmen. Oh, I maxed out on guardsmen? Oh no, that's swordsmen. Let's see. Swordsmen are 32 health, 18, 22 attack defense. Uh, the Guardsmen are 45 health, 15, 17 attack defense. They have Commander, increase morale of Swordsmen and Bowmen, and Armor, take phys physical resistance. So that's more if I want more of a human army. Alright. So for now... Uh, Castle Carmack. Is that even... Oh, that actually is down there. In the cemetery. But that's going to be... That's going to be a much bigger thing, I think. So let's explore the swamp a bit instead. Because, yeah, enemy troops here are weak. I can do... A back to back here. Uh, Warcry doesn't do anything here. So you step up and defend. That's a lot of dragon fire, fire dragonflies, but they don't have a lot of health. those spiders. You move in for the archers, actually. Ow! I should have seen that coming. I... Mmm. Okay. Go ahead and magic poleaxe on those archers so that I can focus on just taking out the snakes. Guarantees a kill. I've got to remember that, like, when it says X to Y damage, that's per unit in the stack. I'm kind of letting the guardsmen, the swordsmen here fall, because I want to 
swap him for Guardsman. and oh we're 90 XP from a level up fireflies use haste I'm gonna go ahead and pull an axe on the weaker spiders bless you guys Oh, this is a new battlefield. Like, I didn't know, realize the actual format could change, because this is just a straight path. I should have looked better at what my options were there for stack killing, but... Uh, let's pull axe... These guys, because I want to weaken these stacks a bit. Oh, I didn't get the wing from the other dragonflies. That sucks. That sucks. Um, fire you. Seed you, just to prevent any of my actual units from taking that much dip. Really? Alright, fine. We'll play it this way. Like, none of my units have enough health individually for healing to be a big factor. Let's go get Guardsman. And I guess I can try Barbarians. To fill up that other slot. So that raises morale of Bowman. Which I can also restock on. can pick up these barbarians which have berserker resistant to cold decent tankiness for being a dps unit all right something kind of funny about playing a game so blindly like this is i don't know what the milestones are i don't know if like hitting level five means anything castle mudin who are you? What are you doing here? Get out of here. It must be Squelch sent somebody over here again. Get out! Whew, what a spiteful creature. Keep going. Go on. Move! Huh. Oh, that statue isn't even, like, a thing. It's just there. Make enemy true leadership points. Plus, this is going to gain me a level. So let's see. Guardsmen have Smash and Blow. Alright, 
Let's immediately axe on the archers there. I guess they must be rangers if they're living among the beasts here. Right, you can move down there as well. Yeah, that does good damage. Holy crap. We can berserk now. Nice. Oh, you didn't even get a counterattack. What? Um, out of control, initiative and chances of critical. Huh. Maybe I ate the counterattack and just forgot. you can just defend, I think. And the Barbarian is going to move in and finish the job, I'm certain. Or the Bowman can. Cool. Level up. 300 leadership or one defense. I'm going to go more leadership. And I have the runes to... Do I unlock the reserve? Or do I unlock distortion magic? Let's go distortion magic and reserve. Nice. I can do both. Scroll over there. Obelisk of Fandor. An obelisk that was installed by the great king and traveler Fandor during his journey around the world. Damned swamps. I almost drowned. Thanks to the beautiful young witch who recognized me and gathered all the local frogs to help me out. She turned out to be a nice and hospitable witch. And here I thought all witches were ugly, shrewish old women. King Fandor. Scroll of Precision. And regular old snakes and, uh, what is it? Cave spiders. Can snag some spider eggs, I guess. And here's the alternate way up to the witch. Here and grab the treasure. Scroll of Stone Skin. Finally, something worth going out of my way for. I'm down here in Berserk. Just wanted to make sure he took the path I wanted. course weaken that stat because it's very easy to weaken. I'm 
fact, I'm going to go ahead and finish that with a pull axe. Start dealing with that snake, because it can attack through the wall, I just realized. I think it can attack through the wall. Wait, no, it can't, because it can only attack through uh, empty tiles. Maybe I should have blessed the Barbarian. Eh. Oh, nice critical. a dumb move. There we go. Easy victory. And that's most of the swamps encounters cleared, actually. If not all. Frog. Why are you croaking? Huh. Interesting. Must have to come back for the frog stuff later. Here we have House on the Tree. <sighs> who is there? Is this a tired traveler who has lost his way and gotten hungry? Oh, well, and show me the goods you have. You sell thorn warriors and regular snakes. It's a flaming arrow scroll, fear scroll, potion of mana. Well, good to know. Fountain of Mana there. Oh! There's another castle here! Brown Lesin. The castle is covered with slime and swamp. Didn't we hear about this from someone? Oh, dirigible. Someone in Arlania. Berlin Forest. Huh. For some reason, I thought we'd. Maybe it's just because I saw it. And here's a laboratory, which is where, uh... Oh, right, the lab is the competitor to... He lives a dwarven alchemist who studies the magical properties of the morass. Rival of the witch. Hey, watch out! Those are there are chemicals around. You don't know what everything is, so be careful. Alchemist. Dwarf. What's an expert in alchemical science doing in these swamps? These swamps are an invaluable font of rare alchemic ingredient elements and ingredients. However, they're in their primitive state, and it's impossible to extract them without various operations of distillation and hydrolysis. Look, why are you pestering me? Are you trying to worm my secrets out? Get out of here! No, no, it's just passing by. Um, hmm, who are you? you don't you see? Your eyes seem to be in the right place. Do you suffer from a squint? I'm a dwarf. Not only that, but an alchemist of the First Order. You can call me Dear Sir Foratop. Thank you, my dear Sir Sir Foratop. Uh, do you have anything for sale? Show me what you have. You sell alchemists, dwarves, level 4. Holy crap. Potions of poison, fire water, and holy water. Poison resistance, acid spray. This charges an acid spray within another three area of three cells, which burns all in its reach. An enemy has no ability to retaliate. The alchemist receives some of the bonuses, which apply to archers. No melee penalty. Oh, you're a ranged attacker. There's a bottle of poison, which inflicts 5 to 15 points of poison damage to the target and all neighboring troops, as well as poisoning the targets. One charge. Fire water. 10 to 20 points of fire damage and burns the target. And holy water. 10, 15 to 25 points of magic damage to undead creatures and then decreasing their combat ability. Can only be used against the undead. Also sell top boots. Top boots, steel reinforced. Plus two to defense. And decaying zombies. They have running, undead, percent attack during nighttime and underground combat, plus one to morale combat takes place in the cemetery. 200% of damage from holy attacks, and means mind spells and other spells. Decay. 
When dying, it discharges the Rod of Death, which infects the surrounding troops with the plague. Running. Huh. Alright. Uh, top boots. Do I have any boots at all? No, I'll take that two points of defense. I know I'm kind of saving up for the other artifact, but, I mean, this is filling an empty slot here. I think the flag just means it's involved in a quest somewhere. Alright, we'll finish this battle and then end off. I f oh no, no, we need to check out the castle. that maybe kill the whole stack 343 damage that didn't kill the whole stack holy crap uh, bless the barbarian Damage range you. No. Well then. Uh, just start swinging. Going down, down in earlier round, sugar. We're going down swinging. Loaded gun, cop. Pop, let's cock it and pull it. Or is it Loaded Gun Complex? Oh, you have 45 health. You're worth actually healing. That's good to know. Kill that stack. Kill that stack, because it can make another stack. Yeah, we're getting to pretty large enemy stacks. Let's buy these elk. I can only get a stack of five, but... Eh. Uh, let's go ahead and... Oh, I can't... Oh, there we go. Yeah, have them in backup. Brown Lesson. Frogus Squelch, selling a Pilgrim Staff, plus one to Intelligence. Um, snakes... And werewolf elves. How many could I get? 23. Uh, meh. Oh, I am. I am. Yes, do I not? I salute you, traveler. How did you come so far and not disappear in the bog? Good day to you, too, my good uh, man. Me? Man? <laughs> uh, 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 uh. I am not a man, I'm a frogman. And my name is Squelch. I'm the owner of the Brown Lesson Castle, and who are you? I'm Bill Gilbert, the treasure searcher of His Majesty King Mark. Listen, I've already met someone who looks like you. You aren't brothers by chance, are you? Someone who looks at me. They probably mean Bagaba. Yes, we are siblings. Actually, I have two brothers, Bagaba and Bogus. We were born by a girl frog who was turned into a princess. I am the eldest, then comes Bagaba, and Bogus is the youngest. Uh, very interesting. Very interesting indeed. So princess frogs give birth to... Frogmen, as it is as you say, we children of frogs are special. We are unusually developed. By human standards, we are just children. I am the eldest. I am ten. Bagaba is eight, and Bogus is only five years old. Hmm. Look, human, can you help me, eh? Depends what you ask. You see, I'm the eldest Frogus, but my 
brother Bhagavad does not want to swear fealty to me. Can you hoist my flag over his house and make him swear fealty? Alright, put the swamp in order. I got it. Give me the flag. I'll do it quickly. Wonderful. As soon as you finish, come back immediately. Of course, everyone likes a reward. By the way, what kind of reward will it be? Of course, of course. Don't doubt it for a second. 130 XP. It's 2700 gold. Okay. The flag of older brother Frogus Squelch. The flag which Squelch wishes to hoist over his brother's castle. Oh, the witch has another quest. In, oh, right, it's the am uh, sabotaging the alchemist one. Oh, now we have access to you. You have two royal thorns. Germination, eyeless, archer plant, two snakes, 500 thorn warriors. Chieftain's Belt, plus 100 leadership, plus 5 attack bonus for robbers and pirates, versus one defense. Uh, I need the defense, I think. You again. What else do you want from me? Well, your brother Squelch wants you to obey him and fly his flag outside your castle. What's that you said? What does he want? That's never going to happen. And you, your body will rot the swamp. I'll see to that personally. Um, I'm going to do this next time. See you guys then.